Hi there, this is Carl from Filmmaker's Guide, and I'm actually not supposed to be here at the moment. I'm actually supposed to be in North Charleston, South Carolina for the Palmetto First Robotics Competition Regional, but unfortunately that was about four weeks ago, and I'm nowhere near South Carolina. Luckily I have a solution for that. Give me five minutes. You know what's cool? Bow ties, robots, and big cameras. And when they all come together, even more coolness is created. It all goes along with my theory that coolness attracts coolness, which may or may not explain why I was there, right? Right? Oh, okay. At these first robotics events, there are typically a lot of media or documentary filmmakers, or even people on the teams themselves, like me, who have pretty cool cameras. And I decided in this event to talk to some of these people who have big cameras. But first, I had the task of locating the cameras. You try your best, but it's not quite there. there. ask the question, what camera do you use to film with all the time? And I'm here to say that it actually doesn't matter too much. It's not so much the equipment you use, but what you do with it. Here's an example. This part of the video was shot with the exact same camera as the rest of the video, but as you can see, it looks a whole lot worse. Why is that? Well, let's just get to the next take already. I mean, this shot looks terrible. Oh, come on. It doesn't look that bad. Actually, yes, it does. Okay then, well the difference between the previous clip and this clip is this clip was shot using the proper settings. These things are more important than the camera you shoot with to the extent that a worse camera can look better because it has proper settings. It doesn't matter if you shoot with HDSLR or HDV, it's what you do with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 